welcome. My name is Pam Estes with Old Dominion Realty, and joining me today is John Bowman, also with Old Dominion Realty. Good morning, Pam. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thank you for coming. And today, John, we're going to be talking about our local poultry market, poultry farms and poultry operations. Have you seen an increase when it comes to selling property um, in our market? Well, the poultry industry locally is as strong as it's probably been in a decade. Now, there's lots of things that are accounting for that, but uh, we are seeing increased demand, both foreign and domestically, and we're seeing a lot more options available uh, with a strong organic push here locally, so both buyers and sellers are having more options available to them. Awesome. Um, as a purchaser, what are some of the factors that you would might suggest or consult with your clients for with regard to purchasing a poultry operation? Well, first of all, you want to look at your initial investment. You know, what is that farm going to cost you initially? Uh, then you want to look at the availability of funding. You know, the FSA or Farm Service Agency right now is fully funded, and so that can help a young farmer get into the market. So you want to look at what financing options are available as well as that initial investment cost. And then you have to take into account what upgrades are going to be required for that farm to generate income. I know years ago that was an issue with regard to the demands that the growers were being put on with regard to improvements. Has that loosened, John? Well, it's still an issue. As you can see, this farm is undergoing some major upgrades, okay? And so it's always going to be a part of uh, what it takes to buy and sell a poultry farm. Those are things, those are one of the factors that's always going to be uh, accounted for. However, with the strong organic push, there are more options available for uh, purchasers. They don't have to go with one of the traditional providers, and so sometimes they are able to get into the marketplace with an older farm that may be a bit antiquated but can still produce for some of those other uh, providers. As a real estate agent, do you walk hand in hand with your buyer with the growing company to determine what improvements might be needed? Absolutely. One of the first things I'm going to do when I sell a farm is to sit down with that current provider and find out what upgrades might be required for that farm to continue with that current provider. Then as a buyer's agent, I'm going to take a look at that farm with that buyer and we'll determine whether they want to stay with that company or are they going to look at other options. And so then we would look at what upgrades might be required for one of those other options if they were to purchase that farm. John, if our local farmers would like to get in touch with you with regard to selling their present farm or purchasing a farm, how can they get in touch with you, John? Well, they can certainly give me a phone call at 540-271-2178, or they can feel free to send me an email. And if there's any questions that you would have for me with regard to today's par uh, topic regarding poultry operations, you can reach me as well at 820-1323, or you can also email me as well. Thank you for joining us, and thank the Hearst family so much for allowing us to come to their farm today. I'll do that. Thank you, Pam.